Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me for a brief devotion for you. It's April the 24th, and wanted to speak to you a little bit today about prayer. This is a verse from 1 Thessalonians 5. It's verse 17, and Paul says simply this, Pray without ceasing. It's one of the shortest verses in the Bible, but it's packed with a lot for us to consider. And it's one that I wanted to share with you today. No doubt uh, in these days that we've been living these uh, last several weeks uh, with the shutdown and all the scare and concern with coronavirus, you've been finding a need to pray, perhaps even more than you normally would. Or perhaps you're seeing this and you've realized that you've gotten away from a life of prayer. But, but these days in which we are living are a reminder that we, we don't have it all together and that we need help. We need the Lord. And so what a good word for us to remember today as uh, we think about our lives and everything that's going on. I encourage you to be uh, setting aside time each day uh, to talk to the Lord, to to pray for not only yourself and your loved ones, but for our nation, for our community, our leaders, for the sick, and anything or anyone else that the Lord might put upon your heart to be praying for. Wanted also to mention to you that uh, we'd uh, encourage and invite you to partner with us here at St. John in praying. You can contact our church office uh, either by phone or by email and uh, join our prayer line. That would be an opportunity for you to lift people up on a regular basis. Uh, as those needs are uh, sent out via email, you can pray for them. Uh, or if you have a prayer request, you can do the same. You can call into the church office or email with us with a prayer request. And uh, there's a bunch of people who would be happy to pray with you or for you. So I wanted to encourage you today with those things. Prayer is such a powerful gift and privilege that God has given to us. I think about what James says, that the, the prayer of the righteous person, that is the prayer of the one who is forgiven in Christ, is powerful and effective. Uh, our enemy, the devil, would, would try to discourage us from praying. And uh, the Lord, on the other hand, uh, invites us to keep prayer as an ongoing conversation with him throughout the day. So let's, uh, let's finish this time here with a brief prayer. Lord, we thank you for the gift of being able to come to you with our needs, uh, with the needs of others, and with words of prayer, uh, with words of praise and thanksgiving as well. Uh, help us in our prayer life. Uh, draw us by your spirit to daily, faithfully throughout the day, be lifting these needs and concerns up to you. Make us a people of prayer. And we pray, Lord, that this would bring glory and honor to you and that it would further your kingdom. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for being with me today. We'll see you again soon.